What's up you guys? It's your girl Marquita. I'm back with another video. And as I told y'all in the other video in our video from earlier, I was giving y'all a two for today because your girl been MIA for a little bit. So let's lock in. As you can see from the title, this is my review on Juliet has a gun musk invisible. Okay. So this is the one that we're gonna do a review on today. I'm gonna tell you that most Juliet that has has a gun fragrances that I've smelled, the ones in Sephora, the ones um I just wasn't impressed with them. <laughs> I, don't, I just was not impressed with them. Like I smelled probably like six different ones, and I just was like I don't know. I don't know. So I just happened to be last year for New Year's. I went to Miami and on New Year's Day, I went to the spa at the Fountain Blue. And when I was at the spa, at the Fountain Blue, I was just smelling all their different fragrances that they have. Like when you check out, when you leave out of the spa and they had this Juliet has a gun musk invincible, right? So I was like spraying everything, spraying everything. And I sprayed this and I was like, you know, okay it's different I kind of like it so you know I was like okay let me give it a try and I'm gonna uh you know I'm gonna buy it and I'm gonna bring it home and I have the 3.3 ounce bottle that's what this bottle was right here it retails for 145 and we're going to get into the notes of the Juliet has a gun musk invincible. And I'm going to give you, after that, I'm going to give you my final review on it. Okay. So we're going to get into it. So the notes, which are kind of slim when I went and looked them up, but the main accords of Juliet has a gun musk invincible are powdery, musky, floral, and white floral. This is the shortest main accord list that I've ever read on any fragrance. And that's kind of why it's going to lead to me to my review on this. But this is, honestly, it has four main accords in it. That's it. That's all. The write-up on it is, um, it says, Musk Invincible by Julia Has a Gun is a floral fragrance for women. It honestly, you guys, it honestly gives me unisex. I really feel like it says it's for women, but this scent is definitely a unisex scent. Musk Invisible was launched in 2020. Top notes are jasmine. The middle notes are cotton flower. And the base notes, the base note, I'm sorry, is white musk. Now, we're going to get into this. So, of course... Now, when I smelled it originally, I'm like, hmm, it smells good. It smells different, right? But once I got home and I sprayed it on myself, I don't know if it was just because I had sprayed a couple different fragrances and stuff at that, at that time, but it had to stand out enough to me that... I left the spa area. I didn't get it originally. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to go back and get it. Now, in hindsight, I'm trying to think like, was it just that I really just wanted to buy something for myself this day or what? But I don't know. Now that I have it, you know, now, well, once I got it home and I sprayed it on myself, it's very lackluster. And it basically comes off to me as most Juliet has a gun fragrance. There's nothing special about it. I don't know. I don't know what it is about their fragrances, but I just, I'm never impressed by them. Like, I'm telling you, I've sprayed at least six of them that they have. I couldn't even tell you what the names of them were because I'm never impressed enough to even remember any of the names. However, this must invisible is 
it's pretty lackluster. Um, I did see that somebody said in one of the reviews that you can layer this on top of another fragrance. And I can see like this being layered with, I just did a video on Joe Malone. I can see this being layered with like the Joe Malone um, Mimosa Cardamom in this. Those two layered together might be a good combination. But honestly, this just by itself, it's a no. I don't know what made me buy it. <laughs> Y'all, I don't know what made me buy it. Um, I have not, I don't know if you can even see, like, you probably can't. Um, you can't because the bottle is dark. But I have not even worn this out yet. At all. This con this this is legit legitimately. Look, the bottle is completely full. This is legitimately, look, if I turn it upside down right here, you can see right here. The bottle is completely full. This is legitimately probably one of my biggest like waste of a fragrance purchase is this perfume. I don't know what I was thinking. Mm -mm, it's not it. Musk Invisible. So if you're thinking about purchasing this, um, and guess what? When I went on, like, I saw, like, the Sephora reviews and things like that. You know, everything is not for everybody. So, you know, what might be not be for me will be for somebody else. And what, you know, what might be for me might not be for somebody else. I don't know. But it doesn't have bad reviews on Sephora. But this is, once, I mean, once I'm smelling it again, it's giving more so leaning towards a man's fragrance versus a women's fragrance. Like, this is very unisex, very androgynous. Um, yeah, I don't recommend this one, you guys. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. This honestly was a waste of $145 because I cannot see myself wearing this with, with something else. If somebody has this fragrance and you come across this video, let me know what you layer it with to make it pop because I can't see myself wearing this and getting compliments. Like, I, I, it needs to be layered with something else to make it pop. Uh, this might be my second worst fragrance purchase after Tom Ford Lost Cherry. And it's not that Tom Ford Lost Cherry doesn't smell good. It's that the price that you want, $400 for a bottle, $390 for a bottle of perfume, and it does not last. It does not last. And it's kind of almost on a borderline where you have to layer that with something else as well. It smells good initially, but it does not last at all. And it definitely needs to be layered with something else. So probably after Tom Ford, and that was price-wise. Tom Ford Lost Cherry definitely smells better than this. But for value and price-wise, Tom Ford Lost Cherry was a no for me because why are you $400 and it doesn't last? It doesn't last longer than my Baccarat. It doesn't last longer than my YSL Libre. And for $400, you need to last all day long. I need to take my clothes off and smell it on me or on my clothes three, four days later. That's what I need. When I go to go wash them, I need to still be smelling time for a lost cherry. And it doesn't do that. So, Juliet has a gun, Musk Invincible. It's a no for me. I don't know what made me purchase this. And I done purchased this joint up in Miami in a Fountain Blue Spa. I can't return this. So I'm just stuck with it. I'm just stuck with it. So if you're thinking about um, Musk um, Invincible by Julia have a, has a gun, I don't recommend it. Um, honestly, I really don't. There's not a Juliet in a gun. Juliet, I mean, Juliet has a gun fragrance that I can honestly see here and recommend to you. I don't know not one that I smell that smells good. Like, that smells, like, amazing. They were just all just okay. Just okay. There, it was nothing special about them. So, um, for $145, you can get a better quality fragrance. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to look up real quick. I'm going to look up uh, their, uh, one, their other popular things. I'm going to just Google. Uh, Juliet. I just want to see if other other fragrances have more notes in them. Juliet has a gun, not a perfume. Okay, let's see. Mm. 
not a perfume. Let's see. Notes. Let's see. Not a perfume. Notes. I just want to see because I want to see if they got other. Yes. Like what is going on? <laughs> Juliet has a gun. Um, not a perfume. Has three main notes in it. Amber, musky, and woody. Three notes. Like, what? It's a floral woody musk fragrance for women launched in 2010. Let me tell you, I don't know if they think simplicity is what makes them stand out, but it's a no. Like, these, like, the fact that it only has three main accords. And that this one only has four main accords lets me know that there really is no depth to your fragrance. Like, your fragrances, period. Like, Julia has a gun. Um, Let's see another one. I think, I know that I spelled the not a perfume before. Julia has a gun. I'm trying to see something. I just want to see... Vanilla vibes. And I love vanilla too. Julia has a gun vanilla vibes. I think I smell this one as well in Sephora. Let me just say uh, uh, vanilla vibes. I'm just, I'm interested to see the notes in this. For this one as well. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, so Julia has a gun vanilla vibes. When did this drop? It said it dropped in 2019. I love vanilla. I'm sh pretty sure I smelled this one in Sephora too. But this one has more notes. Now, the one had three and the other one had four, but this one has about seven or eight notes. So it has vanilla, salty, powdery, sweet, amber, marine, woody, warm, spicy, musky, and balsamic. These are all notes that I like. I'm going to go smell this again. We're going to do a review on Julia has a gun vanilla vibes i'm gonna go to sephora and do um and smell that because the other two literally only had three or four main accords like this it doesn't have any depth to it so i wouldn't suggest um the juliet has a gun musk invincible to anybody musk invisible musk invisible in invisible i said invisible musk invisible because that's what is given invisible i, I don't <laughs> I don't recommend this for anybody. Um, but I hope you guys um enjoy my review. If you have any Julia has a gun perfumes that you like, drop it below because I'll be interested to see what how other people feel about this this fragrance house. Cause to me, all the fragrances that I've smelled, it's not given. If you like this video, make sure um you give it a thumbs up. If you like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And as always, you guys, I love you. Thanks for being here. Until the next time.